Hello guys, whether it's 90210V or just a ton of us, I want to thank you guys for your dedication <laughs> and everything. Um, I was turned on to a Nightmare on Elm Street when I was six. Toy, you were my, you were my crush, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but, Robert, this is to you. If, um, let's say they wanted to make a, like a prequel to a Nightmare on Elm Street and they gave you the role of Mr. Underwood, you know, Freddy's stepfather, or something, would you turn that down? No, I've always thought that this is a missing link in the mythology of Nightmare on Elm Street. It, it got close to being rectified with Toby Hooper's pilot for the TV series, and there was a script that was supposedly to be directed by John McNaughton, who did Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, with uh, Michael Rooker. Uh, there was a prequel script I think it was called Kruger, The First Kills. And it was the, the, the last children being killed, the two cop detectives that found Freddy and busted him. Mm. Then the body of the film were the ambulance chasing sleazy lawyers that get Freddy off. And the lawyers are actually the best parts of the movie, and there's two of them. And Freddie in court, and Freddie at the table, and Freddie on the witness stand, and Freddie in jail. But it's about the lawyers getting him off. And they get him off, and Freddie gloats too much on the courtroom stairs. And the end of the movie is Freddie being burned alive. Now, I've had a fascination with these projects since I did the pilot with Toby Hooper. But those are the two I like the best. I would love to cameo uh, in anything with integrity connected with the franchise. So if it meant that I was playing a Freddy stepfather or a relative or a relative of one of the, uh, you know, bastard children of a hundred maniacs or something like that where my own persona, my face, would make some plot sense, I think that would be fun. I think that would be a Valentine again to the to the fans, but you know I think what they really want to do now is just find a new Freddie, uh, a Kevin Bacon, a Bill Mosley, perhaps, and reboot the franchise uh, for a new audience. I would hope they wouldn't make Nightmare One again. Yeah, I think that's not the idea. But it would be interesting to see somebody explore, starting with part two, and the sexuality that is so subtle and such an undercurrent in part two, and to play with that, but not take Freddy out of the dream. Start there, a really modern horror movie, uh, and then move on and do three, four, whatever they think the classics are reboot those. I think that's okay. I understand Hollywood does that. I mean, I've got friends right now working on uh, the sequel to The Shining, and it's very intriguing. You know, Danny grown up. You know, it's very intriguing. And you know, I love Danny McBride. I love Danny McBride. He's the last person in the world. I would think could rejuvenate the Halloween franchise. And yet I'm looking forward to it because I like him. And how he got it done, he, he must have some take on it that is so original and fresh, I'm hoping. But yeah, I think all of us would come back if it was an integrity project and play therapists, <laughs> you know. Therapists are good. Or the old professor, judges. dream professor. Yes. Lawyers, judges. Or the, or, or, or the mother of the sacrificial lamb. Or a 5,000-year-old vampire. I would love that. 